going on? Your host, Omari White. Welcome to NYC Prosper TV. And I got the Simpkin twins right here, Tawan and Takar. Welcome on our show, fellas. We appreciate y'all being on here. Now, I want to jump right into it. Like, what inspired y'all to play the game of basketball? Um, like, my father, like, he was a basketball player, so he inspired me when I was, like, younger. And, like, the things that he did to, like, like the way he is, like, now. I see my mother and my father because both of them, they used to play basketball and like they know what they talk about. So like when they tell me stuff that I need to fix, I just go, I try to fix it like the best way I can. Nice, nice. Now I see you guys are sophomores at Benjamin Banneker Academy. Uh, last year it wasn't too, that, this, that season was a disappointment basically, but now y'all guys are undefeated like one of the top programs in the A division. Like how were you able to, to improve so heavily compared to to last year. Um, like we spend like long times in the gym. Like we work a lot, and like we make sure like our grades is good because if our grades not good, then we can't play. So yeah. I, mean, I said the same thing he said. Like we spend more time in the gym than last year, and we just like got a better team connection this year. Nice. Yeah. Nice for sure. For sure. That's cool. Now. When, you, when people hear the name Benjamin Banneker High School, the, 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 the program itself, there's quite a few great plays that came out of there. Gary Forbes, Kareem Lloyd, and a little known fact, this guy right here who's the host who was like, you know, second on time three put his made. That's between us though. Shh, shh, that's between us though. But my question I want to ask you guys is, how, like, what, what you guys are willing to do to, to fulfill the legacy and have your name amongst the greats that, went, that came to that school? Um, I feel like, we just need to like work more, and, like just do what I like, like just win and work more, just work out more. Um, for me, I try to score a thousand points mm -hmm. so I can um, get my my jersey hang up on the wall, and like when I come back to the school, everybody gonna know who I am. Nice, nice. Now, what's your top five dream schools you want to go to? Um, St. John's, UConn. Like probably seeing all, mm -hmm. um, like in basically like any schools I could get like a free scholarship to. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Um, I say St. John's, um, Michigan, UConn, seeing all, and probably like Gonzaga. Nice. Like, how does it feel to play play with one another ever since y'all was like little kids? Like, I know the chemistry is just uncanny. I know y'all y'all knew each other games from inside and out. Like, how was it? How is that that having that kind of advantage towards y'all side help y'all get W's after W's after W's? You know? Because like, I so I know like like the way that he played. Like, I know like what he about to do. So like, most of the times I know that like he's gonna score. So like. There's no need for me like to like step in because I know like he's gonna get the bucket. You know. Thanks. Um, I say I like playing with my brother because it's two of us on the court and we do the same thing, so it's gonna be hard guarding both of us because we both can shoot. So it's gonna be hard. Yeah. What's some of the things you feel like you need to work on to help you get raise your game, come out more better than what it is? I feel like I need to work on like speaking more and like being a leader and step up. And I feel like I need to work on like my dribbling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I need to work on my strength and be able to like shoot shoot more because I don't really take a lot of shots in the game. I can go to the basket. Now, as do we want to have fun with this right now? Can you tell me what's your brother's favorite food? Um, I think chicken Alfredo. He's right. What's what's his favorite number? Two. He's right. Okay. Okay. Now, what's his favorite artist I can listen to? Him? Yeah. Um, I'll probably say like he listens to like everything. So like, mm -hmm. but he probably listen more to like NBA YoungBoy and Lil Baby. What do you 
What's some of the things your parents say about your brother that that pisses that pisses them off? Like he joke around too much, he play too much. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Now, what's some of the things you feel like you need to work on to help you overcome ad adversity? Um, like, like speaking more because like, like I get nervous a lot, and that like messes me up sometimes because I feel like I know like I can do certain things, but like I just don't speak up so. Same thing he said. I don't speak a lot when I'm around certain people and I get like, kind of shocked. That kind of like messing me up. Mm -hmm. So these is two, it's, it's twins that played for the University of Nevada. Like, how you guys were able to, to become the next set of twins to take over the NCAA? Um, I feel like we could end up taking over because like we can do like every like basically like everything. Like we could shoot, like dribble, we could like rebound, a couple blocks. Like we could do like a lot and be like our chemistry, like this is good. Um, I think we could take over the um, NCAA because I can like I could be explosive and I can like shoot and it's kind of hard to guard that in um, NCAA. Mm -hmm. Now, what would be the school you guys would like to, to play for? Um, I would like to play for probably um, like St. John's or probably like. Where like another set of twins like play that because like it would be a good experience to like people could like compare us to like like type like different types of twins and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I would want to play like at like um, Seeing Hall or Gonzaga. You guys gotta make 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 up your minds, man. One say St. John's, you say Seeing Hall. Like what's what's <laughs> it gonna be? How are you gonna take over? They play against each other a lot. Mm -hmm. See John, see so Yeah, it would be good playing against my brother. Whoa, That's, uh, uh, spicy talk right there, you know? <laughs> definitely, definitely. Now, so would would you rather be six seven or inherit a million dollars? I'd rather be six seven because like I can do more with my height, and, like so yeah. And a million dollars could come like later. And I just, yeah. I'd rather be six seven because the six seven that that height could probably take me far. Probably because a lot of teams they need a lot of bigs, so I could probably make money from being that height and playing basketball. What's your prediction for the rest of the um 2018 2019 season, you guys? I feel like um we go 17 and 0 for the season and like win the championship. I feel like we're gonna go undefeated, win the chip, and do the same thing next year. So you feel like you guys want to be a, a dynasty? Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. So how important is good? Is, how important is good co culture to you? Um, good coaching is important because like, if you don't have a good coach, like the players don't think like they can just do anything. So like, that like the good coaching it, like comes in and like it, like, it shows like it gives the player like discipline mm -hmm. and like not just think like they can just go wild and just. I think good coaching, you need good coaching because um, you want to know like what you need to do and what you need to fix in your game. Like, if you're doing something bad, coach can talk to you and fix it. And you don't you don't want to just like think you can just go on the court and do anything you want. You just got to like be disciplined and stay calm. What NBA play would you compare your game to and why? Um, probably like Clay Thompson because like I'm like a catch and shoot player. Like when I'm wide open, like I barely miss. Yeah. I always live with myself to like Steph Curry or Trey Young because I like shooting from deep. And I can dribble and kind of pass a little bit. I can get by, by the, I can get by my defender easily. It's just easy for me. Nice. Do you guys consider yourself underrated as underrated talent? Yeah. I say that because like. It's a lot of players that's like like ranked and stuff that I know like I'm better than, and like I just gotta put more time in like in the gym and stuff. But yeah, yeah, I see the same thing because like a lot of the like a ranking don't mean nothing, but you just gotta step on the court and show that like why you need to be ranked and be noticed beside all these other people. It's like because of the schools that they go to and stuff, so they probably just get noticed. Best, can you tell me? Can you name five players in the PSL, PSAL that you think are? Good, like in my division, or yeah. like just the whole PSA, just the whole PSA. Um, Cooks, Kadari, um, I glue myself. Yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. my 
brother. Um, who else? J. Coin and Kareem. Mm. Hey, what about you? But as, but as far as the Catholic high school, division. Catholic division, I say the twins from Blockland. Um, I say Ryan. I say I don't really know a lot of people with the Catholic, mm -hmm. but um, I don't really know. It's R.J. Crazy. Davis. Oh yeah, I'll get him. And the Spanish um, point guard from Luha. Well, that's some of the necessary steps you, you guys are willing to take to make our 2021 prospect list. Um, like, put more time into the gym and, like, just, like, kill everybody that I play against. Um, have a lot of, like, high scoring games. Get noticed for, like, scoring and put more time in the gym. Because, like, it all comes from, like, the gym. You need to be in the gym if you want to be noticed. Improve your game. Nice. What legacy you guys are trying to leave behind as twins? Um, I like the most in my school. Yep. Um, probably like score the most points, like combined or something. Probably like hit the most threes. Yeah. I'll say the best twins that ever went to Vanica. Mm. Cause not like not a lot of good twins went to Vanica. So like I say, the legacy. Just be the best twins that, or the best players that went to Bandicoot. Respect it. I mean, so your guys look like you're doing the right thing. You're on the right path, so you just gotta keep up, you know? That's yeah. what you have to do. Other than that, this is Amari White, alumnus from Benjamin Bandicoot Academy, Class 08, signing out. Take it easy.